What's up guys? So today I'm going to need your help on answering a question of mine. Do external mics work? I don't know. We're going to find out. Um, because what I'm shooting right now, I'm not even going to know until I get done editing and shooting the video and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to test something. What I'm using right now is an external mic. I'm not using the ear pods. I'm not using the mic that's actually on the phone itself. I am using a external Movo VRX10. I'm using this guy right here. Um, I want to know in the comments if you think this sounds better than using the uh, AirPod mic uh, in comparison to the uh, actual mic on the phone. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch over to the actual mic in the phone and just get an idea and tell me what you guys think. So three, two, one, and this is the mic that is in the actual camera, just straight raw. I'm not doing anything crazy to the audio. This is what it sounds like. So I'm just curious to what it's going to sound like and if you guys think there's a huge difference. So I've just been saying these sentences, normal, probably I would say voice that I was using with the first one. That's where we're at. I'm going to plug the other one in because I'm going to assume that sounds better. And then we're going to go over what you actually get in this box. So three, two, one. And now we're back on the mic for the Movo. So I'm gonna give us the overhead camera and I'm gonna show you what you actually get in the box aside from the camera itself because obviously I'm, or the mic, because I'm using that clearly. So I just kinda wanna show you guys what you get in the box and kinda go over a couple details on why I went with this over uh, the competitors. So let's do that right now. Okay, so excuse the keyboards here, I'm literally still picking stuff together and putting stuff where it needs to be. So this is what you're gonna get um, in the box itself. Nothing crazy, um, just kind of goes over thing. One thing that I will tell you and the reason why I went with this is the decibels. Um, this is actually six decibels louder than the Rode video mic. So I went with it for that specific purpose um, because you don't have to do as much. You can lower the mic and then when you raise it and post-processing, you are gonna get better clarity. Uh, there's a two-year warranty, apparently you can activate. Uh, we'll see about that. Now obviously I am using the mic itself and I will cut to um, what the actual mic looks like. Uh, let's just do that right now. So now that you actually saw what the mic looked like itself, we're gonna go over what you get inside. So it actually comes in this dead cat. Um, from the videos that I watched, this actually does work as far as like a noise wind filter. So that might be kind of cool for blogging because I might actually do some blogging. I, I don't, did I say blogging? Vlogging. I might actually do some of that now that I actually have a kit that might be competent. It comes with a cable. Um, the cable that I'm using right now is one for smartphones, and if you're using an iPhone like me, you do have to use the dongle, but it shouldn't necessarily be a big thing. This, don't eat those kids. This is for DSLR cameras, um, your basic connectors. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. It's actually a little, I think, shorter than the one that comes with Rode, but again, I'm not using this, so it is irrelevant to me. And then you get a nice little pleather bag that you can put your stuff in. I will probably use this whenever I'm not using it. Um, I'll just throw it on here, but I do have it attached to my rig, so I don't necessarily know if I will or not, but it's there if you need be. So, comes with everything. Most of the kits that I saw didn't come, they only came with this cable, didn't come with the actual uh, one for your phone, and you had to buy that extra, and I thought that kind of sucked. I don't know why you'd have to do that, uh, being that a lot of people buy them for the iPhone. And again, hopefully this quality sounds really good. I'm not really sure. Um, we'll see. So that's it. That's why I went with this. Um, oh, there's one other thing I want to talk about. Well, we're going to switch, and I'll tell you why I went with it. Okay, so one other thing about this, too, is it's 40 bucks. The Rode video mic is 60 bucks, and in the comparisons that I saw, this actually outperformed the Rode, especially before any kind of post-processing or anything like that. It just killed the Rode video mic. Um, to give you guys some quick features because I'm trying to be as thorough as possible with this specific product um, It's a it's a it's an on-camera microphone. It's compatible with smartphones DSLR cameras uh, Consumer camcorders PCs you can plug it in a PC if you want I guess you could do that 
Um, the actual uh, mic itself is metal, which is really, really nice. Now the shock mount is plastic, but I'm assuming if you're not super rough on your stuff, that's not gonna be a problem. There's no battery that is required, so that's really cool. No batteries, just plug it in, and it uses basically, if you're plugging it in a phone, the power off the phone, which I thought was really cool, and you get the furry windshield included. Um, so it's a cardioid microphone, um, which it's kind of set up like a shotgun microphone, so we'll see how the audio goes for that. It's a 3.5 millimeter TRS and TRRS connector, which is both of the plugs that we talked about. It weighs like 86 grams. Um, I mean, it's, it's a nice microphone, and hopefully, whenever I go back and, and, and take a sh uh, look at these shots, it's going to show. So that's all I have for this. I really, 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 really want comments on if you guys like this mic, if you have this mic, if you use this mic. And if you think this sounds better than when I was using the AirPods. So like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications on, and look for more videos because I have just random stuff that we're going to be doing. I'm just having fun with the channel, guys. So I saw some uh, comments from my previous videos, like am I still going to do mice and keyboards and stuff? And yeah, I will. Um, and I would like to start streaming a little bit more for you guys too. I did stream yesterday. Um, so I'm going to try to do that. Understand that my work schedule is crazy. And at this point in my life, I'm not doing it for views. Um, views are great, but I'm not doing it for views. I'm doing it for me, and I'm doing it to have fun and to just do this as a hobby. So to the hardcore people that were expecting videos every day um, or were you know, expecting me to talk about other people, I'm not doing that. Um, this is just going to be me talking about products, what I like, what I don't like. And that's it, man. That's what I'm going to be doing. And if I get some computer stuff like mice and keyboards, cool. I'll, I'll do those for you too. But hopefully the, the people that were here from the beginning and just like the channel for me stay. Um, and if not, you know, there's plenty of other channels out there that are going to be maybe related directly towards what you're looking for. And I hope that makes you happy because I'm doing what makes me happy. I'm at the point where I love my job. I love where I'm at. Um, and I'm just happy, guys. I'm just doing what I want to do. So... Yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Appreciate you guys watching and look for more. Peace.